Shalom. This is Sister Ebony. And Sister T. And Sister T. And welcome to The Rock. Uh, we wanted to come to you today with a video on how to make the most out of what you have. And being resourceful, um, making sure you get the most out of uh, whatever you have. And here on the homestead, we try to... Um, reuse as much as we can and not let a lot of things go to waste um, so what we have is orange peels because the family loves fruit and oranges and um, so we have a lot of orange peels that we have and sister Tay actually made a suggestion suggestion to take the orange peels and make a cleaning solution with it a scented um, cleaning solution also has the citrus cleaning power um, so we have jars here that we are putting our orange pills in along with vinegar and letting them sit and infuse and then we are using that to make our cleaning solutions um, and actually I've used it in um, washing our cloth diapers because we do use cloth diapers here we don't use disposables and um in trying to not wash the diapers you know so harshly and having them tear up and everything um we try to limit the time limit in washing and so we need something that will get the diapers clean um, in a shorter amount of time so adding this vinegar the scented um orange peel vinegar in the wash <clears throat> helps it to, you know, get the smells out and also clean the diapers and inserts um, that we have. And so we just have some jars here that we've just made. We have some more orange pills um, that we have here. And we'll just fill up the jar. And it's really easy and simple. It doesn't take a long time uh, to do. Or even, you know, a lot of um, a lot of supplies or anything like that. So we'll just stuff this jar full of the pills, and we'll just pour some vinegar in there. So we'll fill this up to cover the orange pills and just fold it up and have it sit um, maybe for about a week or two. And then we can use it from there. We've already had some jars that have already been sitting, so they're ready to use. And so every time we've uh, our master has gotten oranges for us, we've been keeping the oranges and using them as such. And... Um, Here's one of the jars that have already been sitting and it's ready to use so we can make the cleaning solutions and also um, use it in cleaning and washing our <clears throat> diapers, cloth diapers and inserts. Okay. Oh, you would dilute the the vinegar, of course, with water for the cleaning solutions, and also when you pour it into the wash, it'll be diluted uh, in that water. Oh, and also, too, um, we were speaking of being, like, you know, resourceful with this stuff. Um, we we're trying to find the most uses we could get out of one item before discarding it. And um, you can actually cook with orange peels. We have done, made zest out of the orange peels to cook, uh, to make a orange, uh, orange chicken. We've made it for a uh, spray for the house as a deodorizer. Um, so we've used this thing in multiple ways. Um, also, so we don't, we're able to make things that you otherwise have to, you know, purchase in the store and um, it'll, it's more expensive. So we're able to make things um, that, you know, smell good and, and clean good 
with the citrus citrus cleaning power and also smelling good of the oranges and everything have the house smelling good and um what you otherwise buy in the store and it'd be very expensive so we're able to make these our own here on the homestead by just using orange pills that we um already basic basically paid for by buying the oranges and having vinegar and stuff in, on hand we're using what we have on hand already to make these cleaning solutions that you would pay more money in the stores for and also make you know interesting uh creative dishes cooking orange chicken and, and such at home and also um Sister Taylor was saying that we can, you can add essential oils, more essential oils for fragrance and everything to them um, to add to the orange, orange scent. Uh, also, what we wanted to show you is, and we'll be coming back to you with the progress of, of these, but um, aside from grinding our... This is white wheat, hard, uh, soft white wheat um, that we have. And we had hard red wheat um, that we buy in bulk. So we have this soft white wheat that we're going to be sprouting. And we're going to be showing you the process of that and how we do that. So this would be the start of it here. Just get some grains in a bowl, however much you, you want. It's probably good to do it in... Um, small to medium batches so that you can manipulate it uh, easier and have it um, you're able to spread it out more so you know it's more air flowing things and things don't uh, go bad because it's too much moisture in places where it doesn't need to have moisture um, so we have the sprouted wheat here or not it's not even sprouted yet we have the wheat here that we're going to be sprouting so you get some in the bowl um, and just pour some water in here. Pour the water in there. Kind of mix it around, make sure the water is penetrating all of the wheat. And it's, the water is, is like double the amount of how much wheat you pour in there because the sprouts will also be soaking up the, the water. And so just pour it in as such and you'll let it sit in every day or every 24 hours. Um, you'll pour the water out, kind of rinse them off and uh, cover them with more water again. Now be mindful <coughs> with the soft wheat with the white wheat, and you can soak them for less time. The um, red, hard red wheat, we soak for anywhere between 18 to 24 hours. The softer wheat, you can soak about 8 to 12 hours. Um, if you see anything like that, it may need to be rinsed. You can actually rinse them up to twice a day. Um, so you do not grow any like mold, or especially if you rinse them and do not get all the water out like as much as possible, allow it to drain. And sometimes you'll find that you have to rinse them um, twice a day. But once a day still works just fine. Uh, be sure to make sure you get to it, preferably the same time every day if possible. Alright, so we will be showing you the progress uh, on these. We'll come back every day and show you how we rinse them and then the progress of them sprouting and we hope you found this video helpful um, any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section as always and we hope you have a happy and productive day shalom shalom shalom